The 2024 Four Roses Limited Edition sits here in front of me today. This one is made up of three different recipes utilizing four different bourbons, aged 12, 15, 16, and 20 years old. Is this worth the price of admission? Let's find out. All right, guys, so as I stated, this is made up of three different recipes utilizing four separate bourbons. Starts with a 31% of a 12-year OBSV, 60% uh, corn, 35% rye, 5% malted barley. Followed up by 23% of a 15-year OESK, 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% malted barley. Uh, followed up by 39% of a 16-year OESF, 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% malted barley. And finally, ending with 7% of a 20-year OBSV, which is 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. So this one is uh, has a nice kind of mixture of the high and low rye blends. Uh, this one comes in at 108 proof. An MSRP on this one is $220, whereas the secondary is uh, right around that $420 to $450 range. Let's get in the nose. First thing I get further into the glass is just kind of rich caramel, cherries, almonds. Further away from the glass, I pull out some baking spices and a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of kind of floral quality to it. I was looking for some citrus notes, not really pulling out a lot of citrus. It's more of that deep, dark kind of rich fruit on this one. Do get a little bit of sweet oak there on the nose. Yeah, it's um, I there's a interesting kind of like almost a sandal like a sandalwood kind of aroma there um, further into the glass as well, and then further away again, I think you're getting more of those those kind of baking spices, uh, a little bit of some some oakiness there, but uh, further into the glass, that's where that that you know that that big cherry's coming in, and um, got a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. Let's get in the palate, y'all. Cheers. Yeah, there's. There's definitely some layers to this this whiskey. Um, I had it, you know, I, I had this poured out for about 15, 20 minutes, let some air get to it. And I think it made a, a, a big difference. Um, you know, when I when I went to smell it on the nose originally, it, it was a little ethanol heavy, so I let it sit. Definitely opened up. So front of the palate, a little bit of a mixture of what I was getting on the nose uh, is, is coming forward on the palate. So you are getting that cherry, and there's some like concentrated kind of dark fruits there that are kind of dancing across the palate into the middle of the palate. And that's where a little bit of that spiciness comes through. Um, probably more so from that high rye rather than that, you know, that 108 proof. Back of the palate, some of that sweet oak kind of appears. A little bit of that dark fruit back there. Get a little bit of some black pepper there as well. Nice finish on this one. I want to say it's a medium to long finish. It's almost borderline along that long finish. Um, continuously kind of just, just dragging down some of those flavors. Really nice, really nice first sip. Let's get a second one. Okay, so the texture on this now, on that first sip, I wasn't getting it. The second sip, it's coating. Um, it's so it's weird but that that cherry kind of almond that I was getting there um, on the nose. I'm really kind of getting that there on on the front of the palate. Front of the palate is is that it's the cherry, it's the almond, and then right into the middle of the palate is where kind of like that dark fruit kind of makes its appearance, like a little bit of some maybe some plum, maybe a little bit of some date. Um, and then into the back is where that sweet oak profile kind of just, it's it's spinning in a different direction. It, there's maybe a little bit of some apricot there with that oak. There's some cinnamon. There's a little bit of some black pepper there on the back of the palate as it's flowing through. It does have a nice finish to it. It's a medium, medium to long finish, but it is right there on that, that borderline of, of a long finish. Gives you a nice hug. The texture is definitely there. I, I really didn't get it on the first sip. Second sip definitely changed up a little bit, but this one is this one's got a lot going on. There's a lot of kind of, there's a lot of layers in uh, in depth and, and complexity to to this one. Let's get a last sip, y'all. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, front of that front of the palate is still that like there's like this cherry almond, and then all of a sudden it goes into dark mode and hits some of the those darker fruits there. Uh, back of the palate, some of that sweet oak, now some vanilla bean uh, making its appearance there. 
turn it a little bit a little bit sweeter. Uh, but before it was, you know, I had a little bit of some bitterness with some of that oak, and then a little bit of that that pepper was still was bringing a little bit of that spice, some cinnamon back there. A slight little bit of some honey that, that kind of shows up. There's a lot going on on this one, um, a lot of different layers. I think, you know, so again, this one is is the $220 MSRP. Secondary market, you're going to find it in between that $420 to probably $450 range, depending. Um, MSRP, I would say this is definitely worth it. Um, is it worth that $450 price tag? It's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say right now. I think I had to spend a little bit more time with it. Um, the flavors are there. The complexity is there. The mouthfeel is there. I think it's just, it. this is something that you really got to kind of sit down with and, and, and take your time and kind of really enjoy it, kind of pick it apart. I feel like this is something that's going to continuously kind of evolve there on the palate. Um, as I was just, you know, sipping this, these, you know, these three sips here. I was getting something different each time I drank it. So this is something that is going to is going to evolve. It's layered, um, nice texture to it. So I'm I'm going to say it is definitely worth um, the MSRP price of of two hundred twenty dollars. Is it worth that secondary price? Need to still figure that out. I will continue to sip this and uh, maybe post it on uh, Instagram and, and let the uh, let the people know if you know if it is worth that that four hundred twenty to four hundred fifty dollar price range. But needless to say, uh, very nice job here by Four Roses. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And guys, again, MSRP. I think it's definitely a buy um, at that $420 to $450 price range. Um, kind of depends on what you're looking for, right? If you're looking for something that's uh, super flavorful and just kind of punch you in the face, um, high proof, not something for you. Um, this one is a low proof, very textured, layered whiskey, um, something that's going to kind of continuously evolve there on the palate. Um, I will say that I am glad that I grabbed one, um, but... I do want to see what happens when this whiskey starts to open up and, and kind of, you know, what, what the true kind of, you know, footprint of, of this whiskey is. But if you guys are looking for more reviews like this, hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Till next time, guys. Say Dusty.